If you're looking for cheap and instant ultimate team coins, be sure to check out UT Coins for you. Their links will be in the description down below. £3 for 100k. And if you use my discount code R9RI, you will get an extra 5% off. Yes, lads, and welcome to today's FIFA 15 rating prediction videos. Now, if you want to suggest players for me to cover, go ahead and do that in the comment section. And do remember, these are my opinions on the ratings and also you know the ratings on FIFA currently on SoFIFA.com the current head-to-head -head ratings I'm basing it off that and their stats from last season so also if you enjoy this type of video like rating would be awesome as well I know I haven't been uploading a lot of gameplay to my channel recently the World Cup started and I haven't really played FIFA I think I played about four games of FIFA since the World Cup started because I just wanted to watch every single game and enjoy it and I'm sure that's the same for most of you so gameplay will return to my channel after Sunday after the World Cup final Argentina versus Germany I hope Messi wins it, but Germany are just too damn strong. But we're going to start off with Vincent Company now, and he's 86 rated last year, and I think he'll move up to an 87 rated card. And I know he was injured for part of the season, but without a shadow of a doubt, he is the best centre-back in the Premier League, in my opinion. In most people's opinions, actually. Man City won the league. He was a vital part of it when he was actually playing. You could see them struggle when he wasn't playing, so... In my opinion, he just deserves to be higher rated. What an awesome player company is. So we'll move on to Xavi now, and he could be leaving Barcelona this season, which is a shame. I hope that doesn't happen. One bad season, and Barcelona want to get rid of him, which is ridiculous. And I think he'll go down to an 88 rated player, but hear me out. If he moves to somewhere like New York City or another team in the MLS or Qatar or whatever, I think his rating will go down to like 87 because once players like to move to really lower leagues, EA like to downgrade players by ridiculous amounts. So Xavi didn't have the best of seasons, obviously, was poor last season compared to his previous season. Still an awesome player. I mean, against Chile, Darboske decided to drop Xavi, play Xavi Alonso, and in my opinion, that was a bit silly because maybe if Xavi was playing, he could have controlled the game more, like he does. He's like that player like Paul Scholes, Xavi, Xavi Alonso even. You know, all them type of players run the show pretty much. They, they're the engine of the team, so I hope Barcelona don't sell him. Give him one more season. He's an absolute club legend, so let's hope he doesn't leave. Moving on to Eden Hazard. He's 88 rated. Now, keep in mind, this is his upgraded card from last season. Now, on FIFA currently, he's 88 rated. And that's the same on head-to-head. -head, and I think he'll keep that rating. But there's a few stats that should go up, like his dribbling. His dribbling's incredible. His defending, because Jose Mourinho likes his wingers to track back and also defend. So, I know it's not much, but plus three defending on him. And his passing and shooting as well, because he's just an incredible player. Can he even argue that he deserves a five-star skill moves? And you, that's just up for debate, really. You can let me know in the comments section. I've seen him do a few five-star skill moves. He doesn't do them all the time, obviously. But I've seen him pull off a fake Rabona or two in a Chelsea game. So maybe, just maybe, if EA are feeling generous, he will get five-star skill moves. His dribbling is ridiculous in real life. An awesome player to watch for Chelsea. Maybe deserves a higher rating I do not know you can let me know in the comment section but I think EA will personally give him an 88 rated card next season so moving on to Iniesta now obviously Xavi's teammate again didn't have a great season but I think he'll stay the same rating was one of Barca's best players no doubt about it his dribbling again is absolutely ridiculous one of the best in the world at what he does he just glides so his dribbling should be slightly higher I think he'll keep the same rating he could very well go down to an 88 rated card just like Xavi in my opinion but currently on FIFA Xavi's 88 and Iniesta's 89 so I'm just going to stick with that you can let me know your opinions in the comment section of this video if you enjoyed it a like rating would be great as usual and also suggest some players for me to cover in the next episode do you guys want to see a compilation or something some real life videos some real life football videos because I just don't really want to play FIFA at the moment it's getting to that stage where FIFA is just boring to play now I mean we're waiting for FIFA 15 obviously that's why I'm doing these kind of videos just to get that excitement going but anyway I'll see you guys soon take care